Hello and welcome to Tales from the Emporium. I am your host and Dungeon Master Bushy. A big shout out to our sponsors, Lost Boys Pizza. Oop. Yay! Uh, and to tabletopaudio.com as well for supplying all of the audio. It's a quick introduction from our players. Hello, I'm Zinzi Tassel, a high elf druid. Good evening, my name is Carl McDonald, and I am playing Reginald White, a human fighter. Hello, I am Felix Moore, both um, Arflin, Bard, fucking annoying. Okay, so, at the end of last session, you guys met <sighs> Boru the White. Yes. Big ass white dragon that come looking for the egg, wah, 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 because you opened wah, wah, wah. up the two boxes mm. uh, to find what was inside. You then managed to get back to the city of Sindru, in which you dropped off the egg, got told off, got told not to make another mistake, and they left you there with that. Felix, you got your blood back yeah. from Weller. Um, you've also had a lovely date, the two of you, with the uh, with the two, the gnome and the uh, the human that you you asked to come along for the evening. Laura, I think you haven't named them. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. So we find ourselves at the end of that session of you guys levelling up to level five. So Harry's not here. Who plays Caster? So she's already levelled up to level five. Thank you, Harry. Um, so for you guys, so for you guys at home, what we're doing is we're going to do the leveling up while we're here, because I don't think it gets done very much, but it's useful to do. So for you guys there, the first things that I would say is go on to D and D Beyond, move your characters from level three to level five. I shall do this moment, really. Once you've done that, you will need to, so the first thing I'm going to ask you to do before we get to anything else is roll your hit dice so you can get your new HP levels. So to do that, you don't have to worry about adding your con or adding anything else because DD Beyond does that for you. So for you guys, it's only the dice rolls that I need from you. And then you're going to add the total of those two dice rolls onto your, uh, to your character so if you click on the HP so manage HP yeah so if you go on to manage HP it should come up there with um, with rolled rolled HP over right HP um, yeah. and HP modifier yeah yeah so whatever you've got in rolled HP at the moment that's what you're gonna add those two rolls onto so if we go from left to right is that all right yeah so for you, Zinzito, it's a D8. So if you roll a D, either a D8 twice or two D8s. It says five D8 here. What does that mean? Yeah, so that's the hit dice you've got. So if you were making a character from scratch, you'd roll five D8 and then hit that on. But you've already done three levels. So. I just rolled you two. Yeah. Okay. So every level you roll a D8. Yes. Plus, and it adds on your constitution as well. And two of them. Yes. Ah. What'd you get? Five. Did you roll a one? Yeah. Reroll ones. Yeah. Yeah. Ten. Altogether. Wicked. So add ten onto whatever is in your rolled HP. So, so it's twenty-four. It's... So I'm going to make it thirty-four. Bang. In. That shouldn't take everything over your maximum HP. If it does, we've got a problem. But you should and be fine. Apply. And then apply. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Reggie, are you in a place to do that? I will be momentarily. That's fine. To Felix, I'm no having problem. some technical difficulties. Okay. So, Felix, I think yours is a D8 as well, I believe. So, do I roll one or two? However you want to do it, one at a time or both together, but you're rolling two in total. Four spins first. <gasps> nice. Eight. Eight. Oh. Oh. Eight. And an eight. Oh! Look, two Add shiny in. eight. Add in 16. So I put... Uh, where do I put that in? 
so guys, add 18 and 16 together and then that's what you'll put there. What's 18 and 16? 28. 34? So I put in roll dice 24, yeah? 34. 34. 34. And I got Ooh. 44 maximum hit points. Sweet tip. And then apply. Make sure you fit apply and not cancel. <sighs> I am in a good place and I am sitting at manage HP, set for level 5. Oh, wonderful, so yours is D10s. Two, correct? Yes. Monsieur Johnny, yeah, you're lucky that's... Six and a four, which is ten. ten. Very good. So, roll HP goes to ten. Add whatever else it... What's the name? 22. 22. 22. 22. 22. No, no, 32. 32. So you're 22 already, you just roll 10, you add them together, yep. 32. No, 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 just put 32, 32. there, here, yeah. and apply. And apply. Yeah. Yeah. How many points you got? There's not one to say yet. I'll have a little character sheet with you, and I'll pop back. 42. 42. 42. Thank you. Put to slightly lower than average, but that's okay. Alright, I got a, I got a very high armor class. Yeah, that's good. It's good. Okay. Can't so, so the next thing then, what I will go through is you guys again. We'll go. Duh, duh, duh. Yeah, fine. So I think. Uh, so for druids. Yep. You level up. So. The other thing to add is for everyone when you get to level 5, your proficiency bonus will be plus 3. That should already be done again in D&D Beyond, so you shouldn't have to do anything for that. Um, let's see, what else do you get at 5th level? So, so proficiency bonus level, should be what? Your proficiency bonus will be plus 3. So that'll already be taken care of, D&D Beyond does that for you. Okay, so, yeah, good. so you don't have to worry about that. So... Zinzita for druids, at 4th level you get your action to magically assume the shape of a beast that you've been using before, of challenge rating half or lower, that doesn't have a flying speed, you can use this feature twice, blah 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 blah, but that is different for you because you're a circle of the moon, so I wouldn't worry about that too much. I didn't... Uh, they've got, there we go, circle of the moon... Okay, so it doesn't look like you've got any extra feats, but what you will have is more spells. It says I've got a <clears throat> increase one ability by two, or two abilities by yes. one. So yeah, so at fourth level, you'll, and you'll all get this as well, so at fourth level you get either an ability modifier, so that means that you can do up your strength by two points, or your strength by one and your dex by one. Or you can look to take a feat if you've got any feats, and they can be things like magic initiate, so it helps you with your magic. Can you, you know. say again? Sorry. Yeah, so you can do your abilities by two, so one by two, so it could be you move your strength to from 16 to 18. Cool. So two of them, yeah. or? Or you can do strength and dex by one, so you can go 16 to 17, 16 to 17, rather than 16 to 18. Cool, yeah. Or you can pick a feat. So what I would say is I'm happy for you guys to go with whatever you want. If you want to have a look through the feats later, or if you've already scouted some out that you like, then you're welcome to pick those, but we can retcon that after. Um, for druids, I'm not. I'm not sure. I don't really play uh, spellcasters when I do play, so I'm not going to pretend to know if there's any things that you that would be good. Maybe magic initiate. There might be some other casting ones that'd be useful, but yeah. you may just want to take the plus two to your to your stat or one. one I'm not taking plus two to my cotton, no, to my strength. Um, should be a good idea because that puts me up to eighteen. Gives me a plus three. So, after that, let's have a look, what do you get? Fifth level, so you will know three cantrips, so you get an extra cantrip that you can pick.
uh, your spells. So now you've got two slots of level three available for fifth. So you'll get to pick an extra spell and you'll get to change one out as well. Uh, no, for druids, you get to prepare them each day. Let me have a double check. But I'm pretty sure for druids it's a preparation thing instead. Wake up and meditate. Make your so she can use back. any spell and then just prepare it for that day. Yeah. <clears throat> so the druid table shows how many spell slots you have to cast at first level and higher. To cast one of these druid spells, you must expend one of the slot slots. One of the slots. One of the slots, yeah. Yep. Special slots. You prepare the list of druid spells that are available for you to cast, choosing from the druid spell list. When you do so, you choose the number of druid spells equal to your wisdom modifier plus your druid level. The spells must be for the level of which you've got the slots. So you've got whatever your what is your wisdom modifier? Uh, I don't know because I'm not uh, no. I can have a look. If you Hang on. But if you go, if you go into the stats, you just move one across. I don't know what it will change when I leveled up. Are Plus gonna, two, I think. Are you going to add more, more to your wisdom, or how, how do you do that? Well, so your ability modify a bit. Yeah. You, you don't have to add more to your wisdom now. By the way, you can add them to whatever you want. Oh. Um, Oh, this is. I've become a magic, in, magic initiate. Oh, okay. You pick the feet, magic initiate. Cool. All right, fine. So plus two, five. So you can. You've got seven spells effectively that you can prepare for. Um. So as long as you've got those prepared, that's fine. Um. It's just bearing in mind that as you pick a new spell, you can now look at the third level spells as well. Okay. So I'll leave those bits with you to have a look through our bard. So I've done up the level five, I've done eight points. Yeah. So you've got the same thing again, which is you can do your ability modifier or a feat. So in my class, yes. it's saying that I've got an ability score improvement. Yeah, that's yes. where you tap there. Plus. So if you tap on that, it should show Something like two, one, or feet. Ability score improvement. So what's the feet? Uh, okay, so I can pick a feet then? Yep. Oh. Is lucky so I get the roll once again? Yeah, but you've got the lucky. I mean, you've got half lane lucky. Yeah, but that's only if I roll a one. Okay. Whereas lucky means you can roll again once a day, doesn't it? Yeah, so yeah, so you get bountiful luck, which is that. And then let's have a look. Lucky. So I, I think I'm gonna go for. I don't even know what a spell sniper is. So you have three luck points. Whenever you make an attack roll, ability check, or saving throw, you may spend one luck point to roll an additional d20. Yeah, I want that. You can use this ability after the original roll, but before the outcome is revealed. And that's lucky, yeah. That's lucky, yeah. yeah. So you regain expended luck points once you finish a long rest. Yeah, well, yeah, so you're taking that, fine. For the time being. That's cool. Because we get to, we'll get we probably get to pick another ability next level anyway, will we? Uh, eighth okay. level, I believe. Okay. Um, so yeah. the other thing to point out for you at fifth level is your bardic inspiration dice go up to d8 rather than whoop, d6s whoop. that you pass on to people. <laughs> and you now get font of inspiration. What's that one? 
So you regain all of your expended uses of bardic inspiration when you finish a short or a long rest. Ah, oh, wicked. Long rest is killing me, though. So. Okay, and then spells. I can pick. I can just pick in a bit, can I? Do yeah. I, well, because I do. I get more spells now. Yeah, you will. So you will get fifth level. So your spells known goes up to eight. So and you get an extra cantrip as well. So you get three cantrips. And then you can know eight spells, which is four. So you can choose up to four first level, three second level. Oh, it's getting exciting yeah. now. So you've got to. You could have. You could have all third level spells, but you wouldn't be able to. You'd only be able to cast two, so there's no yeah. point. So. But bearing in mind, so that what I'm going to say, which is the same as what I said for caster. This time leveling up, you guys can swap out your spells as you want to. So the next time onwards, it'll be one on one how it's set for your character. For druids, I'm not sure how that works. I need to have a good read. Yeah, you can do anything you want, can't you? But yeah, well, yeah, I think so. Preparation's a bit different, but certainly for you and for Caster, you trade. You can trade one out, and then if your level grants you an extra one, you get an extra one from the level. So. Fine, yeah. Okay, I'm happy with that. Um, Nothing else for me. Abilities. Ooh. Uh, no, that's that is it. I think your College of Glamour. Let's have a look. So you've got your so the things to have a look at for College of Glamour is mantle of inspiration and enthralling performance. So you have them both at third level, but it's probably worth just rereading them. So you know, sure. you know, last week I did that thing with a dragon mm -hmm. in the College of Glamour. I can calm. Angry dragons. It's like one of my skills. So it works out. So you're going to put on the clown suit. Yeah, like the dragon whisperer. Yeah. Yeah. Don't go telling Castor. Found out anyway now. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Awkward. Dragasm. <laughs> <laughs> I've been a bit of a smart ass and I've been a little bit of a reader. So you know it all already? No, I don't. Oh. I never know everything. Let me speak correct English. I do not know everything. Excuse my language. Okay. So, for you. Yes. Uh, I was looking at Weapon Master. Okay. The reason being is I still get to add one point of proficiency on strength or dex, which is what I would use anyway. And I get the option of becoming a master with four different weapons. So... You have, ex ex uh, you have extensively, uh, you have practiced extensively with a variety of weapons, gaining the following benefits. Increase your strength or your dex dexterity score by one to a maximum of 20. And then you gain a proficiency of four weapons of your choice. Each one must be a simple or martial weapon. So, for me, I'm going to increase my strength. The first weapon is, of course, going to be a good old fashioned long sword. The second one, I think. So this is your, sorry, this is your fighter class, or is this a feat? Feat. This is a feat. Because I get both. <laughs> I get to increase by one, which I put the strength up, which means the next time I have a level up, I an, an extra bonus with the racial bonus. Um, and then I was just looking at the other weapons. So I'll be proficient with the last one and skewer something at a distance. A heavy crossbow and an yeah, axe. Okay. An axe I think would be the So your strength is going up by one and then you're picking your four yeah. the four weapons. Wicked. <laughs> and I gain an extra attack. You get an extra attack for your action, so that's your action. Yep. You get two attacks, yeah? Which yep. add both of your proficiency onto both of your attacks. And technically, if I use my uh, second wind, uh, not second wind, my extra one, I get four attacks in one turn. Uh, and then from your champion, you don't get anything, so you've no. got your improved critical, but that's it until seventh level. Yep. And you get your remarkable athlete. Wicked. You can run for ages. <coughs> um, and that, I think, is everyone. So. For you guys that are spellcasters, at some point it would be good to know what your um, what 
what your spells you are taking on. Um, otherwise, I just have to go and find out later on D and D Beyond when I can go and check. Do you want me to tell you what? Extra gold and you want me to tell you what spells? No, you don't have to right now. Oh. Just you know, uh, so either send them to me or do something like that. Okay. So otherwise. Choppy, choppy. <laughs> oh. So I don't know, do you go for sending? Or do you uh, sending, talk to dead? Like, yeah, well, <laughs> oh, dude. Talk to all those people that you've chopped apart. Even choppy, like, choppy. Even <laughs> like, bestow, bestow curses, God. Yeah. All right. So what I think we'll do, we'll take a quick two minute break, let you guys look over some bits. I'll get sorted for the actual start of the game. And then we'll reconvene. And we get to cracking. <laughs> do you have what it takes to keep Symbrian safe? Tales from the Emporium campaign two starts this autumn. Contact us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, or by emails. Links and details below. Welcome back to Tales from the Emporium. I'm not going to go through the introductions again. Because it's only been a couple of minutes since we left. <laughs> and now we're back. And everyone can remember names. So, you guys find yourself, it's probably been a few days uh, since you've got back to the city. First question I have to ask as we are missing Caster is, is one of you going to deal with Caster's stuff tonight? Or is she going off to Rifty's School of Magic where she has been asked to come and investigate dragons? Oh, she would like to do that. She wants to learn a bit, does she? If she wants to go off and learn with them, I have no problem with that. There's not much we can do at the moment. We're just kind of... I mean, it's not something that cast a player, Harry has chosen, but it may save you guys to and fro. I don't mind playing and her. if something exciting happens, we can, go get we her. can just go get her and then just start. Get her, that's true. Yeah, maybe yeah. we'll just... Let right. Because she'll love going off and have a lovely time, Caster. She'll love... All right. There we go. She will love that. It's like she's here in the room. Yeah, no! <laughs> ah! I love dragons! I want to talk to dragons! For a Welsh man, you know, a really ru- rubbish Welsh girl. Why are you now we're talking like this, isn't it? Reminds me of Fine and Sam. Anyway. Oh, man! <laughs> That's exactly it. <laughs> okay. So, a few bits around the city that you have found out. So you found out two or three of the judges' names. Yeah. We need them, pardon me. Well, do you know what? The thing is... We'll have a way around that, because I am a swatty pants. Well, you do write them down? Because I wrote it all down and then didn't bring it with me. Oh. There's a way around But he's got it, so that's good. I think. Hope and pray. But yeah, we do know a few of them. Oh, there's some of them there, yeah. Okay, so we know... I can't read it. Yeah, we know some of their names. We know some of their names. I think we know four of them. Three. Three, three of them? I think so. I think it's four. Three. I think it's three. Four. Three. Four. Four. We learned two off Spriggan. Yeah. He told us two. Yeah. 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 Spriggan, and, and the one yeah. off oh, Okay. And, the, the, and uh, he taught us the under one in the West. And I can't so, remember the one before. I have to start making notes. We have to. I have I've to been taking notes already. Um, Suma, so you say gone. you got told. Right, shit down. Suma Stillhaven. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And I have a pen. Judge of the pen. Underworld. I'm going to go my Or well, the off. Underward, sorry, not the Underworld. Underward, yeah. Suma of Underward, yeah. Then. So, Suma. 
Suma what? Suma, S-U-M-A-H, Stillhaven. And, uh, what? The what? Underward. Judge of the Underward. Next. <clears throat> well, so who do you think you got told? Next? Underward, Westward. We've got Underward, Westward, and the Eastward, because we wanted to buy the... Uh, you wanted to trick me into saying it by buying the pub. Oh, yeah. But well, we got two before I'm, and we got... Oh, you got those. I got two off Spriggett. Mm-hmm. I got one off the guy, the creepy guy at the end last week. Yes, I wanted that, to buy that's the, the one, that's the east that's one. It. That was David Van Paar. Yeah. David... D-A-V-E-T. Yeah. V-A-N-P-A-R. David yeah. Van Paar. And, that's, uh, and, and uh, the judge of the Eastern Ward. Right. Now we got one. So that was. Uh, okay, so we got one off. Maybe we got one off Spriggett then. I thought we got two off Spriggett. And um, I thought Castor knew two as well already. So no, that would be five. No, no, no. no. Wrote, it was, wrote, I'm sure it was three. There was two off Spriggett and one off that fella. That was it. Yeah, because you asked in the beginning. I don't remember. think it's four. I think it's three. Spriggan. Spriggan. That's your fault for calling me that. Spriggan. Hey, you will be when you come back to the inn. I didn't do anything, did I? Uh, yeah, I apologize. Western. The Western? Yeah. Lucina Fairmont. Yes. Fairmont. L Y S I N O or L E S I N O? Judge. Sorry? L E S I N O. L A C I N A. L A C I N A. F-A-R-F-A-I-R-M-O-N-T They got some funny name on they? I have to start any of Judge of the Western Ward. Okay. So you have three. If you're interested in finding out the, the rest of them, you can ask around at various points. Can anybody remember the name? And I'm going to guess not of the Leave It To You Guild. Master. The Dragonborn. The Dragonborn. Colin. Colin. Colin's his nickname. Erasashi is his actual Arasashi. name. Why do I put all my notes? That's annoying, isn't it? Hmm? Done. You spent some time eventually seeing Arasashi <coughs> and um, what he lets on to you is he's very very happy that you have sorted out the goblin problem and the raids out in the desert however it's a shame that you weren't part of the guild because you would have been paid for your help if you are interested however you can join the leave it to you guild the guild takes a percentage of every bounty that you claim. Mm. Oh, we, we did get we paid, got paid though. Yeah. You got paid from other people, but not from the Leave It To You Adventurers Guild. But we would, would so we, we would have got paid by the money. Leave It To You people and the actual people if we went with the Leave It To You. Sorry? We wouldn't have got paid. If we had gone through the Leave It To You people, would we have got paid by Depends them? Depends how well you could have uh, blanked it to. I'm not convinced. I think they I would prefer to work direct. I don't like the agents. They no, like the no middlemen. No middlemen. No okay. They like the dragonborn, I don't know. Well So you guys find yourself in the crooked spire of an evening. You've heard rumours of a few days of a fight club opening up in the southern ward. It's a bit more run down. You notice of an inn. It's called the Black Sheep. We've been there before. Oh, yeah. The Black Sheep was. It was that or the Crooked Spire? Yeah, but we didn't. Know where it is. No, we didn't, but we know where it is. We've been there before. You know where it is. Hmm. So. What you understand and what makes this slightly more interesting 
is that you know there's not supposed to be any sort of fight clubs in the city. However, this one seems quite widely known, which means somebody has been paid off, or maybe people just don't care. Okay, there's a okay. few more bounties out from the Leave It To You guild, if you have any interest. It's not anything particularly from the city, but there are some problems with some other goblin raids a bit further out in the deserts that are happening. Nothing too major. Mm, I don't think deserts are a good idea to do dragons. You've spent some time at the courts mm. on the Wednesday. Yeah. What is it called? Where four of the seven judges were in attendance. Masked. Robed, residing over day to day um, running of the city. Any... And did they tell us which judges it was that was in, in attendance? No, but assuming you ask around, you can tell by the mass. Ooh. Well, Common belief is you can tell by their masks. Are they distinguishing features on these masks? Here we go. So, they believe that David Vampire yeah. and his mask has two moons, crescent moons, one on either cheek facing inwards. Yep. They believe that Suma, Stillhaven, nicknamed Sunshine, for the bright smile and orange glow to the mass that they wear. Vin, sorry. Okay, yep. Vin Fuldar. Full what? Fuldar. Fuldar. F U L D A R. Fuldar. We knew his name. Who is the judge of the Southern Ward? Yep. Has a teardrop on the right hand cheek. Yeah. While you're in court with him, just make a perception check. All of us? All individually? Uh. Lucky snitch, go for it. Uh, does not count. Plus, uh, I'm making all my notes now. Uh, character sheet. Think I'm plus four. Uh, perception. Is that, is that passive as well? Passive perception, or are you actually just like. <laughs> Eight. Seven. Can I roll for cast, Gosh, you know, with us? Nine. Nine, okay. So you've not been able to confirm if it's right or not, but you believe, as we've been told, along with the teardrop, that you can tell Vin Fuldar is residing because he has one green eye and one blue eye. But you haven't been able to confirm that. Okay. And finally, Ulroth Stonefell. 
who is the judge of the Central Ward. Paul Roth, what was his last name? Stonefell. Stonefell. Ward of Central, Central Ward. They believe he is a dwarf. Sounds about right. Mainly because of the height when he walks in and his size. However, the mask has been known to vary. Occasionally, it is craggy like a rock. Sometimes it is smooth like metal. And very occasionally it is a black, opaque stone. The only thing that they've connected them to, apart from the height, is the fact that the mouth is either happy nor sad. It's flat in the middle. Okay. Okay. And we are at, we are sat in the courthouse. Uh, on this Wednesday morning, 4-9, as I seem to remember, and currently Vin Fuldor, the Southern Ward, is in residence. Is that right? So there's those four? Those four are in. There is a page there, so if you want to ask anything or if you want to be involved, you can go up and speak to the page. Hmm. Have we got the page and ask about, we've noticed signs about kids missing. We just, uh... Concern? Wait a minute. Trust me, wing it. My son's yeah. gone missing. Okay. Is there anything that the wards could do for me, sir? Can I speak to the wards about my missing son? Okay, so... Perception. You go over to the page, and it's a young-ish human adult cool. male. Yeah. Looking slightly flustered with a page that he's frantically scribbling in, talking to people, you wait your line, and they he sits them off to the side, and you come up and you say... Hello there, sir. I'm fi oh. I shouldn't be so happy, really. My son's gone missing. I... I'm very sorry that your son has gone missing. How long has he been missing? Two weeks now. And you've only just reported him missing? I have been... I didn't want to waste the time in the wards. I understand how important these people are, and so many people seem to go missing in this town all the time. But I'm now frantic. And at that point, I walk up and I say, considering he's told us that already, walk up with my hand on the shoulders. Not around this area either. I'll keep looking. So and I do a U turn and walk back out. Thank you. So you want to make a persuasion check at, at an advantage? Deception yes. at an advantage. Deception, please. sorry, yes. 13. Plus 6. Okay. Yeah, wanna roll again? Nineteen. Okay. Ah. Look, I'm very, very sorry for your son going missing. I've made a note. The judges will be aware. Do you know the area that he went missing? I would have checked this before. The West End Ward. Right. 
Well, unfortunately the judge of the Western Ward is not here. However, we'll make sure it's raised to them. Yep, thank you. You'll have a correspondence. Uh, where are you staying? I'm staying with my brother at the Crooked Spire. Hmm. Um, Spriggett with an I. Spriggan. 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 With a Y. With a Y, sorry. Spriggan with a Y. Mm. Yes, Spriggan's with an I, yes. Spriggan with a Y. Ah. If, you, if you just say that you are looking for Felix Smallbottom and leave a message with him, that would be super. I know it's hard given the occasional disappearances, um, but have faith. Maybe try the guilds or somebody that can help uh, do searches. There is a watch that we have obviously in the city, feel free to... Is there a watch? Yes, I'm sure you've seen it. Oh, okay, yeah, I didn't think... There's quite a lot of people missing. Okay, I will, I'll, maybe I will go and see them. But have faith if we can find them. What was your name? Mine? Yeah. Jeffrey. Jeffrey, perfect. Don't do much, but what I do. Sorry, just bear with me a moment. <clears throat> ah. Yes. No. Yes, thank you. Sorry. You seem very busy, sir. Well,. Unfortunately, they like to have everything, everything in shape so that we can get through everybody's concerns and taxes and payments and dissatisfactions and all the other things that go on. Anyway, I've kept you enough. I'm sure you're busy searching for your son. Thank you. Uh, what did you say your son's name was? Sorry. Colin. Colin Shortbottom. How old is Colin? Six. Colin hair? Blonde. Any distinguishing features? He's a half -lid. That's. I have a question. Yes, sir. Don't take this the wrong way, but are halfling children smaller than you, or do you all kind of stay this size? Um, half well, yeah. He's smaller than you. He's smaller than me. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you know, I don't know how old you are. I'm sure six years old. Really. I just thought I'd check. Thank you. Thank you. I understand as a human it must be difficult to get your head around that. He has got hairy feet though. I've not seen much of the world, I'm afraid, so... I know there's many races in uh, St. Robert. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Uh, hairy... Very well. I will let uh, Miss Fairmont know. Um, yes. I'll get the message sent over to them. I would say normally they get back to you within a day or so. Given the time frame, I will uh, I'll try to ask that it's uh, pushed up the list for you. Thank you. Uh, if you could. Um, I think more than anything, it's just, I realise there's a lot of children missing in this city. It's just like, it's just nice to know, even if they can't do anything, they care. Thank I you. Get Thank you. And then I'm gonna go back, sit with the other guys, or whatever. I'm sitting outside with my pipe. You done? Do you want us to study the cases, or do you want to go and do something else? Um. It's at that point. We guys are walking back through the square. You're all sent a message. Like how Felix sent you guys messages. message. Okay. You're all sent a message. Well, I've been watching you from afar. 
and I think you're the right people to help. Come down below, follow the sewers, and it stops. And then you get another message shortly after. I forget they cut short. <laughs> down the sewers, follow the lights, you'll find me. We can, we can respond back. Yep. Yes, no, yes. So it happens, obviously you can only send one at a time. So what happens is he goes, he says the same thing, that first message, he says the same thing, boom, boom, boom. And then the second bit, boom, boom, boom. So I like to think you all kind of stop. And then there's this puzzled look as you're like, oh, okay, no. <laughs> okay, Did you, you got that, didn't you? Yeah. You got that? About the sewers? Apparently so. Sounded awful gruff. Did you say anything back? Well, I can do quickly if you want. Maybe. We'll okay. see you soon. Um, first things first. Hiya, who are you? Hello. Before we come down to the sewers and get quite a lot of ourselves messy. Who are you? <laughs> who are you? We need a name. Bloody awfully. <laughs> Right, back in the night. <laughs> Take the sewer in the middle of the square. Try not to raise any local uh, whereabouts. Night's best. Night's it's best. dry. You won't get dirty if you follow the lights. There's a break. You can call me Master Dwarf. Okay, Master Dwarf, stick the kettle on. We'll see you just after the first bell, uh, bell I would say. Mm, one. First one bell. sounds good, because we're going to have a drink first. Yeah. I'm going down the cellar, I'm going to need a drink first. Fuck it, we're going in the sewer, let's get tanked up. Who knows what's down there, right? Yeah. I love it. Alright. I'll be rolling at disadvantage before the end of this, won't we? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I know we had a very small break in between uh, you guys leveling up and starting that, but what we'll do is we are end the session okay. here and then we will pick up as you guys head into the sewers. Yeah! Session. Okay? Awesome. Do we need to go and get caster? Or does he be alright? Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Well, I think we can go like find this. out what's going on. Okay. And then... Finish. Go. Yeah. Puzzle loads. Okay. We're going to do it ourselves. Yeah. All right. Woo Excellent. All right. Tune in next time, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.